All right, Sam, what's happening? I lost a patient. What happened? A guy named George Bynum, who's all over the Daily News. Stabbed to death. I was wondering if I could talk to you for a moment. My name is Brooke Reynolds. I was a friend of George Bynum. What exactly was it that you were treating the deceased for? I'm sorry, that's confidential information. What is it you're so afraid of? I was with him the night he was killed. You're not responsible for what happened to George Bynum just because you're glad he's dead. Somewhere between passion and fear, <coughs> reason and revenge. If I thought you knew something about George Bynum's death, I got to kill to make it the same idea. Love and terror. Actually, I'm the only one who knows about it. Except for you. Something's happening in the life of a woman. I should be very, very careful of him, that he would do anything for the money. In the heart of a man. What I'm doing now may be irrational. Maybe it is foolish, but I gotta do it. In the mind of a killer. We're pretty sure Bynum was killed by a woman. And they think she'll try it again. In the still of the night. I know the police think you killed George Bynum. Do you think I killed him? <laughs> We're probably dealing with a woman who on the surface seems childlike and innocent but underneath is capable of extreme violence. Bynum had a dream. This house was in the dream, and so was the person who killed him. All I kept thinking was, I'm so glad he's out of my life. Listen to me. That's what he is trying to do. He's trying to kill me. No! If it weren't for you, George Bynum would still be alive. Roy Scheider, Meryl Streep, still of the night. <laughs>